This is Josh Friedman standing atop one of the world's most iconic bridges. I'm at the very top of Starry Most, the old bridge in Mostar, Bosnia. This is actually the new old bridge. That is due to a recent war, and I will be getting to that in a moment. First, I will be getting you a view of the bridge. The bridge jumpers are getting ready, but don't get too excited. They want their 25 euros before they take the plunge. Here is Starry Most, and I will explain that this bridge is the namesake of the town. In South Slavic languages, most means bridge. Mostar is named after its foremost, most. The old bridge was built in the year 1566 upon the order of Suleiman the Magnificent, the Ottoman ruler. The Ottomans ruled Mostar for more than 400 years, and Ottoman influence remains today. There are mosques throughout the town, and you can find a bazaar or two. But Mostar is a mixed ethnic town. It is one of the places in the former Yugoslavia where the three predominant religions meet, they being Islam, Orthodox Christianity, and Catholicism. In particular, here in the Herzegovina region, Catholicism is very apparent. Mostar is the unofficial capital of Herzegovina, the southern region of the country that is officially named Bosnia and Herzegovina. Atop the hill that overlooks the old city, there is a cross and there is a Catholic church that sticks out in the Mostar skyline. The three ethnic groups, they being the Muslim Bosniaks, the Orthodox Serbs, and the Catholic Croats, lived peacefully here during the Yugoslav years. But that all changed during the breakup, when Bosnia declared independence and broke away from Yugoslavia, the Bosnian War ensued, and Mostar was one of the focal points. It was under siege for about 18 months, and the town was divided in two. I'm now gonna take you back to the bridge to show you how the town was divided during the siege of Mostar. When Bosnia broke away from Yugoslavia, the population of Mostar was about 35% Muslim, about 34% Croat, and about 19% Serb. After Bosnia declared independence, the Serb-controlled Yugoslav army attacked the city. The Muslims and Croats then teamed up to fight the Serbs, and they drove the Yugoslav army out of the town. But after that, the Muslims and Croats turned on one another. And for almost all of 1993, Croat fighters laid siege to the town. The Croats were based on the west side of town. You can see how the town is split by the river. The west side was the Croat base. And the east side, here where you see these mosques, was the Muslim base. But there were plenty of Muslims living on the west side, and the Croat fighters attempted ethnic cleansing. They kicked the Muslims out of their homes on the west side, killed some of them, and forced the rest to flee to the east side. But they did not flee in safety. When they crossed the bridge, they were under sniper fire, and all the people on the east side were also under sniper fire as well as shelling. In fact, it was so dangerous on the east side of Mostar in 1993 that parks were turned into cemeteries. It was too dangerous to bury the dead in actual cemeteries because they came under sniper fire. So if you take a look now at the east side of Mostar, 
you'll see that there are parks that are completely full of tombstones and they all say 1993 on them. That's the year when everyone was buried in those parks. About 6,000 Muslims were killed in Mostar that year. But eventually, the Muslims managed to launch an offensive and drive back the Croats, reclaim the town, and the fighting was, the siege was basically ended with a stalemate. But that was not before November 9, 1993, when the old bridge that had been standing here since 1566 collapsed into the river. It was an iconic symbol of the Yugoslav wars. And now Mostar is part of the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina entity, which is primarily composed of Croats and Muslims. The city has since been in peace, although some people say it remains divided. In 2004, the old bridge was rebuilt, and it was rebuilt in pretty much the same fashion as the first old bridge was built. To some, it is a sign of continued Ottoman or Muslim rule. But to most, the new old bridge is a sign of reunification. And at the very least, it is a major tourist attraction. That is it from Mostar, and that is it from Bosnia. I will see you next in an old fortified town on the Adriatic.